Now, it may have been mere literary instinct, the grasping at material of the pot-boiling writers of the day, and it may have been another kind of instinct, the unacknowledged attraction of the fair unknown. But, whatever the reason, the place had drawn us both, and here we were. Are you sure you'd not rather have this room? Hmm. Well, you can come and rock here anytime you like. It's very comfortable. Thank you. What brought us here so suddenly, Maurice? Three reasons, Hal. The need of lodgings, the suitability of these, and a beautiful head. Oh, sorry. Apparently this chair walks. I've seen it before. Were you rocking in my chair last night? I could hear you the whole time and I didn't get any sleep. No, you dreamed it. You got rocking chair in the brain. All right. So I took to coming home early, on one excuse or another, and inventing all manner of errands to get to the room when Hal was not in. For goodness sake, Hal, do stop that and go to bed. What? Don't, fool. I haven't slept a wink for your everlasting rocking. Now leave off and go to bed. Go to bed? I've been in bed all night and I wish you had. Can't you use the chair without blaming me for it? Oh! You okay, my boy? Do you need any assistance? If Hal had won, and won so utterly, I would ask but speak to her once, and say farewell to both forever. Look here, Hal. I can't stand this any longer. Can I ask you one thing? Let me speak to her once. Just once. I'll say my goodbyes and then neither of you will have to see me ever again. Are you crazy? May I ask her? I never have had speech with her in my life. And you. And I what? And you have seen her day after day, talked with her. I need not repeat what I have seen. Need not indeed. It would tax even your invention. I have not seen her in this room but once, and then for a fleeting glimpse. But from the street, I have seen her often with you. 
I have not seen her in this room for a moment as you own to. But I have seen her often in the street with you! Do you mean to say that I did not just see you a moment ago in that chair on the balcony with her in your arms? Out of my way! I'm gonna see her! She, she left, she's in the other room! Where have you hidden her? Oh, so her room opens into yours. That's why you prefer this room. Perhaps I can open it too. What have you done with her? That I should question a liar. Will you leave? No. I will not live with a liar and a traitor. Well then, you're gonna have to kill yourself. <laughs> door after door I knocked at, tried and opened. Room after room I entered and searched thoroughly. In all that house, from cellar to garret, was no furnished room but ours. No sign of human occupancy. Dust, dust, and cobwebs everywhere. Nothing else. Our rooms were empty of all life also. Yes, of all life. For, with the love of a lifetime surging in my heart, I sprang to where Hal lay in his room and found him dead. Hal! Hal! 